today we are arriving in beautiful Costa Maya, Mexico. We're getting off the ship early for our excursion in Bacalar for a boat ride through the Seven Colors Lagoon. Alright, so I don't feel like we're gonna be late because we were literally the first ones off the ship. Not right me. when right when they opened the gates, <laughs> they Mike, let us off. Mike's line smooth sailing. The person before me stop for 9,000 hours, 642 minutes. Okay, so it wasn't that long. I waited outside for her for like two minutes, but we're here now. It feels like 9,000 when you're waiting. Yeah. When you're like, oh God. Uh, but anyways, we got to meet for our excursion at the end of the pier there, and then we're off. Speaking of 9,000 hours, 642 minutes, that's about how long it takes to walk down this massive pier to the port. But once you're there, you'll find it easy to find your booked excursions, other tours and excursions if you haven't booked one, shopping, bars, food, etc. The locals are super helpful as well. We found our group and headed towards the buses. Make sure you pay attention as there are multiple excursion groups leaving simultaneously. You don't want to get on the wrong bus. The bus ride was about 45 minutes, perfect for an early nap. Took a nice long siesta through that bus ride. The whole thing, I slept through all the instructions. Now we're here. Look at all those tadpoles. It's absolutely beautiful out here. <laughs> what if I fall in? Thanks. This is a sketchy bridge though. Part of it's missing. Well, you're not supposed to walk on that part. Okay. Back to Wait. <laughs> we got road margaritas. Road Rodriguez. Oh, oh. Another, no. another sketchy dock, baby. It's great. I love sketchy docks. The wood planks are a little more jiggly on this one. I feel like we better go back to the other one. <laughs> but this one has boats. <laughs> okay, let's get on them safely. You're walking in this secure spot. We're the first ones on this boat, baby. Oh, you're this way. Just look at that water, guys. It's amazing. It was amazing watching the water change colors right under us. The first cenote we visited was Cenote Negro, where the water goes from 2 meters to a sudden drop of about 180 meters deep, giving it its dark color. Our tour guide told us this cenote claims at least one life per year on average from swimmers. It has a downward current that if caught in, can be very difficult to swim out of. I say nope to that swirly. The next one was Cenote Esmeralda, which was the biggest in size. It spans a whole kilometer in diameter and has the depth of about 65 meters. But that's enough boating around, let's head over to the teal blue water and take a dip. Party out here. It's a total party out here. All we need are some ice chests full of beer, 
maybe some sodas, some waters, some seltzers. Seltzers. We need a truly hat. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't look, looks like you're doing something. <laughs> If you look carefully, we were joined by tiny white fish swimming near the sand. And I even made friends with a snail. Hello, Snaily. Would you like to meet Betsy? Time to put him back in the water. Goodbye, my mollusk friend. Don't go biting any toes. Okay, I'll be back again soon. I've been taking Mike dance lessons. Yeah, point your finger. Water felt great, and all that dancing worked up an appetite. I think it's time we head back to the shore for some lunch. Now we're back at the uh, restaurant resorty area, and we're gonna get a table and some food. All right, we got ourselves a couple of brewskis. Bohemia. Cervezas. Good stall. Shove that bad boy in All there. The Cheers, my love. Cheers, baby. Here's to another great day. Lunchtime, and we're getting it all. Guac, salad, chips, rice, beans, chicken fajitas, and fried fish. Back at the table, and we have fresh tortillas. Let's make tacos! But first, a big salad bite. It's Beach Please's Fat Life. The fat stands for fries and tacos. Today we're building fish tacos in Mexico made from local grouper fish. So come along and let us know what your favorite taco is. All right, so I'm gonna build a taco here. Take a fresh tortilla. I'm gonna take a piece of fish off of Betsy's plate and build the taco for her. So I'm gonna get the fish here, I'm gonna add some guac. Put some of my salad. I think tomato put some lime on, on it. this. Yeah, we'll put some lime. We'll do, we'll do that in the end. Maybe um, a little bit of bean. Throw some of that on there, just on the side of the tortilla, like so. I can't wait to eat that. And then maybe some of these um, peppers from the, the chicken fajita. And onion. There we go. All right. So baby, this is yours, but just for the beaches, I'm gonna take a bite. Let them know how it is. Oh wait, we forgot the wine. Yeah. All right, babe. I hope I made a good taco for you. It's gonna be great. Let me know how it tastes. Mm. How is it? Really crispy. Mm. So this is grouper, fried grouper. So that taco was for me? Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm just doing a taste. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna love this. There you go, baby give that back to you because you only get one trip. I can't wait to try my full taco. Mm. 
is really good. All right, lunch was delicious. We got 10 more minutes before we bust back, and we're thinking we're going back to Naptown. Oh, I'm going back to Naptown, but Mike had a great idea. Solid Plan Rodriguez is what we call him now. Uh, extra nap means we don't have to go to bed as early because we do need to get a good amount of sleep before scuba tomorrow. That's right. But if we have an extra nap on the bus, that's extra time to stay out. Yeah, that's sleep hours already logged. Logged sleep hours, <laughs> 1.5. All right, we made it to a shop on the way back, and I got myself some shark flip-flops. Look at this! Flamingos! There's one coming. Oh, you ruffled his feathers. Chapped his hide. Chapped his hide. If we had some extra time, this would be a cool thing to float in with the swim up bar and everything. It's almost like a Margaritaville. Time to head back to the ship. We'll be back to Costa Maya soon for a scuba diving trip and some port exploring. So we'll see you then. Bye for now, beaches.